Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. I got another mod drop for you guys, but before we do that, let's go ahead and get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and then share it on your social media. When you're sharing it on your social media, follow me on that bird app. The link is in the description. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that and click the notification bell for all. And uh, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them right underneath the video and I'll get back to you guys. Because comments really help with the algorithm. Those are all the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look down in the description. Use the Ko-Fi link for a one-time tip or the subscribe star to join as a channel member. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, use the join button or the super thanks button. All right, guys, let's get into this. Roll that intro. Alright guys, so what have I got for you today? Well, I, after I just dropped my mod for my summon Daedric, uh, Daedric Horse, I decided I was going to do that with my Daedric people for my Skywiser in mod. Now, if you've seen my, if you've seen my video for my Daedric Horse, go ahead and leave some comments underneath the video because I really like that mod too, so... Now, this one is for Daedric people. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to answer some questions right now. First question is, is it compatible with? Yes. It's compatible with Skyrim 1.597 and above. It's compatible with all other magic mods. It's compatible with uh, Nether's Follower Framework. It doesn't actually... Nether's follower framework doesn't actually recognize it, so it doesn't count them as followers. So you're good there. And that's about it. This this has these uh, Daedra that you can summon have custom armor and custom heads, but they don't have custom bodies. So. They, it is what it is. So let's get into this and show you how you can actually get these spell tomes. Okay, guys. So this is how it works. This mod is only available on Shaken Mods and only for P PC. I know it says for the Xbox in the title of the video. You can get it for the Xbox by commission only so go ahead and hit me up on that bird app and inquire about how to get it for the xbox now this mod doesn't require anything like i said so it's all good with that and what's going to happen is is when you load into your cell it's going to add three spell tones to your inventory automatically and you can learn those three spells and you'll be able to summon and banish the Jamor people. And when you actually load into your cell, you can see that it gives you the Jamor dude, Jamor chick, and banish Jamor people. So go ahead and learn those spells. And you're good there. Now, I did run into a problem on a fresh character that when you tried to equip the one of the spells, it crashed. And I'm not sure if that's something to do with uh, uh, alternate start or not. So, there's our Dramora dude. And if you've got 
if you can summon more than one creature, you can bring up the Dramora check too. Now this is what you guys do. She has custom armor, and they both have custom armor, custom colored Daedric armor, and everything. So that's good. Now, if you run into the problem of a CDT uh, crash into desktop, just go outside, learn the spells, and summon them outside. So we're going to go outside and check to make sure that these guys go through the load door correctly. Okay, so they came when I first come out of Bree's home, they didn't follow me out because the courier came up and messed with me. I had to go back in and then I came back out and they followed me just fine. Let's let's go ahead and go out of White Run and see if they follow you out of White Run. And they did, in fact, follow me through the load door. So that's good. That's unlike the Dramora Lords, the vanilla Dramora Lords, uh, which don't follow you. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to conjure up some more of these. Now, if you're using my House Carls and Hussies mod, you can conjure up to four Daedra or features. So we're going to conjure up couple more of these and we are going to head over to we are going to head over to Ultimate Stream Cam so which I'm going to need to enable my map markers oh that's not correct like that and then I'm just going to put myself on God mode so I don't get killed. And they will follow you. Follow up right along behind you. So that's good. Now they only have... They only have the Dramora voice. Even the females. Because we don't have a female Dramora voice. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to see if they follow us. To halted stream camp while we fast travel and here we are and they certainly did let's go ahead and watch let's go ahead and watch them now the females use the uh combat rate uh combat one-handed boss and the males use the combat two-handed boss and they're not at all scared of anything So, and they have powerful weapons, and I may put a different, I may put a optional ESP in later, an update to where you can use the weapons and armor. I'd actually have to uh, provide the body slide files because it is, they are uh, custom custom body slide files. I use the SS SMMB sliders for the males and the body, the armor for the Gager Chick is uh, CBBE. So if I release the uh, armors and weapons and everything with this, then I'll add those in. But yeah, so far that looks like it's pretty good. They smell weakness. Right, so anyway, that's it. They're pretty tough. They're kicking that back. Uh, he got his, he got his ass kicked. But yeah, that's they're pretty tough in a fight. Now, you might be wondering how long the Dramora people will follow. Uh, because with 
um, Daedra Lords, when you summon them, they have a certain amount of time they're summoned, and then they disappear. I think it's like two minutes, maybe. Uh, not so with Daedra people. When you summon one of the Daedra people, they will follow you for 999 days because they're considered thralls. So, and the only way they'll stop following you is if they get killed or you banish them. Now, they, as for perks, uh, they have a lot of combat perks and their health is about 500. So, they don't die easy either. And after fights, their health regenerates because I gave them the recovery perks. So, that's always a good thing. So, what I think is, is that they'll make a good addition to your follower army. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, let me know. Alright, guys. Remember, this mod is available only for PC. Link is in the description if you want it for Xbox. Hit me up on that bird app and we'll talk about it as I only do Xbox for on commission only. Remember, if you like the content, don't forget to hit that like button and then share it on your social media. And when you share it on your social media, follow me on that bird app. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet already and click the notification bell for all and leave some comments underneath the video guys because that always helps with the algorithm. Those are all the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look down in the description, use the subscribe star to join us as a channel member or the Ko-Fi to tip the channel. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, use the join button or the super thanks button. Okay, guys. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and remember, until next time, keep your sword sharp, don't be a milk drinker, and always watch the skies, traveler.